There were two reasons why I wanted to do this one. Uh, one was the opportunity to work with Harrison again. Uh, he's uh, such a pleasure to work with, so, such a smart uh, filmmaker um, and collaborator. And the other was because although I had sworn after Patriot Games that I wanted nothing more to do with anything that had anything to do with Tom Clancy, um, because he seemed to be, to be so abusive, I read his book and um, found that it was exciting and surprise, surprise, relevant, politically relevant. Um, that in his story um, about the use and abuse of power within uh, President's presidential administration, um, he, he really had, um, had uh, made a cautionary tale that spoke to, particularly to the American uh, democracy, but to any democracy in any time, past, present or future. These drug cartels represent a clear and present danger to the national security of the United States. Audiences must be forgiven if they fail to comprehend the moral of clear and present danger. Most will see no more than a smarter than average Hollywood action adventure. But they will see a hero in the classic mold. Phil Noyce believes in heroes. There is a need for heroes. We have a need for heroes in, in, in myths and legends. Um, it goes right back to almost prehistory. Um, the hero goes on a journey. He uncovers wrongdoing in the world. Um, he disrupts the world. And, and usually the legends end with him offering, you know, a, re a, re a return to harmony in the world. Um, it's, it's quite classical, really. The central thread of the story is an exercise in revenge. An old friend of President Bennett is assassinated by the drug cartel for which he has apparently been laundering money. Bennett authorises a secret operation to wipe them out. Are you suggesting a course of action, sir? A course of action I'd suggest is a course of action I can't suggest. Jack Ryan is drawn into this web of intrigue when he replaces his sick friend Admiral Greer as acting head of the CIA. Want to know about politics in Washington? Four words. Watch your back, Jack. Not black and white, Ritter. Right and wrong. Oh, you see? There you go again. Why was I kept out of it? You weren't kept out of it. You're neck deep in it. You went before Congress and you got the money for it. You went before Congress and you lied to I never Congress. lied to Congress. You lied to Congress. You lied to Congress. It's a very, you know, the, the film is dealing with, um, in some ways, subtle ideas. Uh, uh, at one stage, somebody says to Jack Ryan, you're such a Boy Scout. And when, when they do, in all the audiences that I've ever seen the film with, people laugh. They laugh at Harrison Ford's character um, because he is a Boy Scout. What is he getting upset about? They're knocking out these, these uh, uh, drug barons and their means of, of producing and, and, and distributing the drugs. Um, and yet, he's going to blow the whistle on the whole thing. He's going to blow the whistle because they've done it without congressional approval. They've done it outside the law. Um, what we see in the film, I hope, is what happens when, when we do things outside the law. Harrison Ford is every man, not Superman. He's never played the superhero like Stallone or Schwarzenegger or Van Damme. Instead, he's brave and basically decent, moral without self-righteousness. What makes Ford compelling on screen is his fierce concentration, his commitment to making the story, however bizarre, seem real. But it can be a nightmare for his director contemplating the possibility of serious injury to his priceless star. Hey, what the hell? It is a terrifying prospect, and we had um, several arguments. 
about this, um, particularly in the sequence, uh, the assassination sequence in Bogota, which involved uh, uh, a lot of explosions. Um, he wanted to drive the vehicle uh, and for the audience to see that he was do really doing that. Um, and, and sometimes I would just hold my breath, close my eyes and, and hope. Sometimes I'd talk him out of it. <laughs> um, at the end of the sequence, he, he bursts through a, uh, um, a wall um, and escapes. And he, and he just wanted to drive, drive, drive the truck that day. And I just had this bad feeling that something was going to happen. And I just said no. And um, he said, I, I'm going to, I need to, you know. I said, you're not going to. And um, <laughs> I said, I'm not going to turn the cameras over. So let's just let the stuntman drive it. So I won that one, but uh, it was probably the, the least dangerous of the things that he won on. <laughs> because there's other shots where he's driving past explosions and diving in front of explosions and so on, which are fantastically uh, involving shots. Oh, <laughs>